All right, welcome to the R and R show. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the best little sports show ever. I'm your host, Michael Brook. This is my co-host, William Rumsey. Hello, William. Howdy. All right. All right. Well, we, first of all, we want to uh, thank our sponsors, Brad Nelson and Bob Rybel and the fine folks at JTM for catering uh, the food and sponsoring us today. We do appreciate that, guys. Uh, so our guest today is none other than Indiana's first Mr. Football and IU great Alex Smith. Hello, Alex. Thank How you. are you, buddy? Good. How are you? Good, good. So let's just basically get right into this, Alex. So what are you up to uh, these days? Oh, so now I'm uh, being a dad, a grandpa. I sell furniture at Value City Furniture. I've been there for 19 years, so that keeps me pretty busy. And now, do you uh, take the competitiveness from your football days into the uh, the sales business? Absolutely. I think that's you know why it fits and uh, suits me because you know there's always that competitive part of sales to yep. be the top guy or one of the top guys. Absolutely. So it, it's it worked for me. Good deal. Now, uh, now you uh, you've been married to your high school sweetheart for how long? Her name's Kristen. Kristen. Yep. Yeah. Been with Kristen for. Well, we've been together for 30 years, but I've uh, been married for 24. Oh, wow. so. Holy cow, that's a long yeah. time. Now, how many uh, kids do you have? Four kids. Four kids? Yeah. Grandkids? Three girls, two, one boy, and uh, two grandkids. All right. Well, that's uh, that's great to uh, to hear. Uh, now, you're still in the Franklin County area, correct? Yeah. Okay. Still live right outside of Brookville. Good deal. Good deal. So, I understand that you are an avid hunter and fisherman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what all do you hunt and fish? Where do you go? Hunting is just a huge part of our life. My son's a big hunter. Heck, I took the girls when they were little, uh, coon hunting and fishing. But uh, I've always raised uh, coon hounds. i got some red bone coon hounds. Okay. Uh, I've been raising those since high school. Yeah. That uh, I always tease my son. He He's a big hunter. And I said, well, you got to get in the Sports Illustrated for hunting. I <laughs> said, that's when I had that picture in Sports Illustrated. So I teased him about that. He's like, Dad, that don't count. <laughs> I said, oh, it does. Hey, listen, you're, you're a country cool. boy definitely at for heart. Sure, that's, for sure. That's a good thing. That's cool. uh, so well, let's kind of like jump in uh, to your playing days uh, at Franklin County. Uh, legendary career and a great career, obviously. Thank you. Uh, you know, um, you know. First off, as a, as a freshman, you know, I, I, I forgot about that. You kind of forgot your first game action as a freshman on the varsity level. Uh, is that right? Yeah, I got to play a little bit as a freshman. Uh, came in, of course, you know, being competitive. I wanted to play. I wanted to be the guy. But uh, uh, we had brand new coach. Coach yeah. Ryder was brand new. Yeah. So, yeah, and that I was a good to, team, though. I had though. to prove myself in that team. And it was a good team. Yeah. They had some good players. Uh, yep. Chad Evans, very good running back uh, back then, and so he did a great job. And I finally got to play a little bit. Uh, I think I got my first start uh, as a playoff game. Yeah, oh, wow. Year. Yeah, and I, I and if I remember, uh, yeah, because I was like, oh wow, he's already in there. Uh, I was on the sideline, and I wasn't uh, starting at that point. Oh man, I wasn't. They, uh, <laughs> but but I remember. I was like, oh wow, he's already. Uh, well, I think get, we might touch on your get, team well, a little bit later. Yeah, well, he. <laughs> He got his first game action, and I, I was impressed. Uh, obviously, as a freshman, you jumping right in there. Uh, now, wait. Before we uh, continue with that, the Trojans did knock that fr uh, that team off. Yeah, as he oh, was man. a freshman. Oh, we, had, we had to get that. In. <laughs> yeah. Now, what what age did you start playing competitively? I started at five years old. Five years old. Yeah, now, I were played. you a running back right off the rip? Or? Uh, well, I think the first year I just ran around squirted. Yeah, yeah. Balls, but, <laughs> that's right. But uh, after that, we got into a pretty heavy uh, in Ohio that was huge. Uh, I played yeah. in Goshen, which was a little small school out on the east side of Cincinnati. Okay. And they had some really competitive teams. I actually ended up playing college football with a guy from Goshen okay. at Indiana. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Greg Jenkins. Oh, okay. And, uh, he... Uh, but anyway, we ended up, uh, I think as an eight-year-old, we went down, went to the Super Bowl, they called it then, yeah. and went down the Riverfront Stadium. And yeah. Oh, wow. And yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, was, that's how was, it all started. Wasn't Harrison like in that little league? Yeah, Harrison was Yeah, because Harrison was traditionally like, pretty, pretty yeah. good uh, back then. Um, now, what drew you to, uh, obviously, you lived in Franklin County at that time. What drew you out there to the, uh, to like that, you know, uh, Pee Wee setup? Well, I, I had... I grew up in Goshen. Oh, oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, until I was in fifth grade. Okay, until fifth grade. And then we moved in. I, I, 
moved to to Cincinnati for one year, and okay. then we moved to Brookville in '87. Oh, so okay. I okay. lived in Brookville since seventh grade. I was going to say because I remember the buzz, uh, and that's what my my first uh, recollections were. You was in the uh, the middle school. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they were right. buzz. They were talking to me like, "Well, we got to beat yeah, this." You know, checking yeah, checking in like, "Hey, listen, let's." Let's uh -huh. get let's stop this kid, Alex. So, but uh, you know, freshman year, getting into the uh, the starting rotation, uh, you know, playoffs, no doubt, was uh, obviously the first inclination that uh, there was something special uh, for your career in high school. Now, we uh, you know, fast forward to that sophomore year, which I believe is probably the best team that you were on. That sophomore for team, that, that sophomore that team was, year was special. they it were. Was a good team. They were very, uh, they were very solid, um, you know, because uh, I think they were. Uh, you guys were eleven and one that year, um, and if I'm, if I remember correctly, did you guys lose to that eventual state champ, uh, Franklin, uh, Franklin Central, Central? Beat us in the regional. Yeah, but the, and they, yeah, they just walked away with the state championship yeah. after that. But and, but that game I think was pretty nip and tuck. It's maybe right to the bitter end. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, it was twenty six nineteen. So that you know. And the funny thing is that Franklin Central team actually beat that East Central team the year before in the regionals really? too, and wow. that was nip and tuck. We had them at halftime and, and ended up losing. So your sophomore year, were you starter from day one? And uh, actually, I, I kind of split time split with time? Uh, Chad Evans because, like I said, as a freshman, uh, he he had the job, and then they just kind of started working me in. Then my sophomore year, I kind of split time okay. that whole year. Um, with Chad, and then you know, just yeah. Well, and, and when he says split in time, getting uh, you know over fifteen hundred yards on a split time, <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. So hey, if you're a sophomore out there, getting yeah. fifteen hundred on split times, yeah, uh, pretty damn good. So uh, you know, uh, you know, did you have anything no, else on that? No, so no, no. kind of fast forward, then uh, you know, one other little thing that jumped out on me at that sophomore year. Uh, you know, going into the year, the Trojans were kind of preseason favorites after the mm -hmm. coming off that yeah, last year. We had an early, early uh, matchup against Franklin County, and and this kind of sh started to show how great you were. I mean, we were in a dog fight, zero zero, mm -hmm. and I think it was maybe a minute left, and this guy here, Alex, worked like a seventy yard touchdown, uh, and they win seven to nothing. We we thought we were going to get our rematch with you guys, that never materialized. In the playoffs, but that that's probably a, a pretty memorable moment early. In Definitely your one of the highlights of my career. Yeah, uh, East Central being the powerhouse that they are, um, being able to do that as a sophomore. Yep. you know, I, I really was feeling it. Yeah, I was, so, was going to so, say. Yeah. I mean, and then the legend kind of grows from there. Uh, you know, that was a, that was a great moment. Uh, obviously. And I think you just and I don't know exactly the publication. I tried to see it on your Facebook page, but you did an interview with Lauren Kelly. Yeah. That was um, here recently. Yeah, in yeah, I think it was in March. Uh, but she described East, infamous East Central. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, always the juices pilot. are still, yeah, For sure. definitely. That That's was, cool. It was always a, uh, you know, during that time, it was uh, so, tra traditionally the Trojans. You guys Arch, were always Berger, the Franklin team to County. Be. Well, yeah, so did you guys have the measuring any, stick? Like head to head tackles and go up against each other on the field of play? Well, well? Yeah, I, I believe you played both ways, didn't you? Yeah, because uh, yeah, yeah. you were on the uh, yeah. as a linebacker too. Oh, we definitely went head to head. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there was there was definitely a, a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff. Uh, you know, obviously early, but uh, even later in the career. So, so the, the go ahead. I was gonna say, so that seventy yard touchdown. Obviously, you just said it was the highlight. Is there any like other maybe two or three runs that you can think of that you know just now, stick out real, in your mind? Real quick on that seventy yard long run. Did you break out your traditional one number one during that? <laughs> no, I, no, no, no. I, I wasn't quite so. No, uh, wasn't sure of yourself right. quite yet. Okay. And plus, I was scared of my coach. Yeah, yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> it was still Coach Grider. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah that might have put me on the pine. For that, that they are. Yeah, you're still uh, you're splitting carries at fifteen hundred. Right. But right. uh, I couldn't remember if the number one came out at that point. Go ahead. Yeah, just uh, are there any other maybe two or three more carries that stick out in your in your high school career? I mean, a lot of touchdown runs. Um, there know, we go. My senior year, some of the the bigger runs. Uh, we had a few that were to end the game. Yep. Uh, Awesome. Yeah, like, I was uh, Friday Night Lights. Those, yeah. Yeah. Well, games. I mean, nice. Some of those games were nip and tuck there on that senior my year. My senior yeah. year really wasn't one of our, my best teams that I played on. Yeah. You know, there was 
that, that sophomore year was a very talented team. Very. My senior year, you know, we didn't have as many guys come out for the team. So, you know, we, we, we were overachievers that year. Yeah, okay. And early on in the season, we were trying to find ourselves. We found ourselves in some dog fights. And, yeah. Um, you know, we went, Elwood came down the first opener, and they were putting it on us. Yeah. And uh, we ended up coming back, and then uh, they went ahead of us like three minutes to go. Mm-hmm. And this is my senior year, and I'm thinking, you know, I, I, I can't let this happen, you know. And anyway, they, they went ahead of us, so they had to kick off to us back then. I ran some kickoffs mm-hmm. back, too. But at that time, I wasn't running kickoffs back, but they let me run the kickoff back. And so they went ahead of us. There was like a minute 27 left. They kicked it deep to me. To, to, to the, the house. house. Very yeah. nice. Well, let's let's reverse a little bit back to that junior year. A, a couple of, uh, you know, did you have did you ever set out with any expectations going into the year? Because that junior year, obviously, you, you're now kind of the, the focal point uh, of the offense. Uh, coming off the 1,500-yard sophomore season. Um, you know, you ended up with 2,085 yards that sophomore year. Did you think you'd get to that 2,000 mark uh, going in? I always had high was expectations for year? myself. Junior year. I'm sorry. Junior year was yeah. the 2,000. Um, and, you know, we always were geared up for Lawrenceburg and East Central. Mm-hmm. And then we split with you my junior year, so yeah. you guys beat us in the regular season. And yeah. then when we came back and, and beat you guys in the playoff oh, game, that, hurt. that that was another one of the just marquee games. Oh my God, For that me, that, uh, that meant a lot. Yeah. Being a great no, team. No South Dearborn in there. Uh, <laughs> South Dearborn, <laughs> I'm a South Dearborn uh, guy. Yeah. Well, some of my worst games. Uh, yeah. that oh, game. yeah. South Dearborn beat us my yeah. junior year. Really? I, I yes, saw that. I did not know us. that. Okay. Yeah. I was a little shocked. I, 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 I really it. didn't know that. We, I wasn't. we had trouble finding ourselves as a team. Uh, well, as South Dearborn traditionally had some hard nosed guys. Swede Staggerwald, who was a real stud. He was a good mm-hmm. wrestler, and uh, he had a game of a lifetime. Really? And, and they beat us. Yep. It was at South Dearborn. I really didn't know that. And we got that. better <laughs> as the year went on that mm-hmm. year. You my did. junior year, we, we really matured a lot as a team. Okay. Yeah, you hit your strike coming in playoff time. Right, I, I exactly. Believe. You know, talking about that junior year, I, I you know, one of the notes that I put in there, uh, remember coming to uh, Wildcat Field, uh, early in the season, you guys were coming off that sophomore campaign, and we always played each other early in the season if we're lucky in the playoffs. But you guys were ranked number two at the time when we knocked you guys off. Mm-hmm. Um, and if, if you do you remember they had that lightning? The light went yeah, out. the yeah, lightning went out. Like, yeah, I'm oh, yeah. like, oh, yeah. yeah. So we had like an hour, hour and a half yeah. delay or something yeah. with the uh, with the, the lightning first down. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got a lot of history. You know, very a lot, yeah. a lot of history there. But that was fun. You guys. Uh, I, that was bitter when you guys knocked us off in the sectional uh, uh, that in that junior year. Can we expand on the Phantom first down? I'm that that was the senior yeah. year. Uh, okay. well, what happened was was that my senior? Yeah, year? It was a senior okay, year. Okay, so I think they I think they went to a, for a measurement or something. Somebody called a timeout and they just made a first down. Yeah, they and, didn't even. And it oh. actually was in our favor. It yeah. wasn't a first down. No, it was not. <laughs> It yeah, is. but it, is. it was a game changer for sure. Well, yeah, I mean, because we're, we're looking, you know, coming off, because we were conference champs in the uh, junior year, so we were looking to, to replicate that. And so they were our first uh, conference game, and we ended up losing 20-16. to 16. Besides that phantom first down, do you remember uh, the quarterback? Uh, uh, our quarterback? Yeah, Reese. Kevin Reese? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember him fumble? I, I say it was a fumble in the end zone, but they called it a safety. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, oh, but yeah, anyway, a couple oh, a couple little uh, calls in there, but uh, you guys obviously, uh, you know, in, in the end, it's all about W's and, and L's, and you got the win. So we're into the senior year. Uh, going into the senior year, did you know how many yards you needed? Uh, going into the senior year, right off the bat, going into the senior year, or I was that even no in your, your thoughts about um, the career rushing? Record. Okay, no I, thoughts. I, I, no thoughts, and I really had no no thoughts of three thousand yards season yeah. or anything like that. I just wanted to come out and have a great season, get a great year. So, and then after the first three games. They started talking about it. Yeah, you know, all of a sudden the Patriots. Because well, you ripped off a couple days. early two, three hundred yard games. Right. You know, uh, right off the rip. And um, I know we'll talk about uh, 
uh, your Indiana career here in a moment. When did IU start looking at you or reaching out to you? Uh, actually, right after my sophomore year. Did they really? They started okay. talking hey, to you me. break a 70 yard against the Trojans. Yeah. Or that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they started contacting me then, and I had already committed my junior year to did Indiana. Okay. So my senior year, I was committed to IU, but. Yeah. Um, now, did you take any other official visits before leading up to that, out of curiosity? I took a few unofficial visits, yeah, but okay. no official, no. only official visit. Even Indiana, I wasn't going to take an official visit there. Okay. Because I'd already committed, and they were like, listen, we still you know, want you to come up because all the other recruiters... They wanted to get there. that warm and fuzzy feeling. <laughs> and and they, they want to lock it down, and, then, and they want you to be there for the other recruits. So yeah. listen, you know, we're getting good yeah. guys coming yeah. in to be a part of drawing some yeah. more guys in. So they literally were like, you know, you need to take this visit. Yeah. So I wasn't going to. But yeah. I ended up taking just one official visit. One to official. IU, but okay. I took a few unofficials, you know, around and, locally, but never and, went anywhere any, else. Any, anywhere else? Uh, just uh, Miami of Ohio. I okay. Went there. Um, I mean, they offered me a scholarship. To, they, they wanted me to play a uh, linebacker for them. Really? <laughs> Which became funny later because linebacker. linebacker. Yeah. 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 Maybe, they didn't, maybe they, free safety. Hey, I don't know. They, they said they linebacker. Didn't, they I said, didn't, I don't want to run the ball. You didn't stick out as a running back in their eyes. Yeah, huh? no, no, I didn't think so. <laughs> that's, oh, wow. that's some good they stuff. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know the 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 funny thought. Uh, you know about uh, you because know, Bill Mallory, uh, just a hard nosed coach. But we'll get to him here in a second. Uh, talking about just really quite about the senior year, the three thousand twenty four yards. At that time, that was the only time that. 3,000 had been broke. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Yeah, so that, that unbelievable, um, you know, going, uh, you know, achieving that was pretty obviously special. Uh, but I will tell you this, uh, you know, going into our senior year, uh, you know, I don't know if you knew, but I knew that there was going to be f the first time there was going to be a Mr. Football. Um, yeah. You know, being a war. Did you? Okay. Mm -hmm. So and I, I kind of knew that too. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll say something here a little funny. I, I had uh, – I was delusional thinking I was going to win after football. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, 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 well, that's Usually the yeah. teams get to win after football. I was real delusional thinking I was going to win that Mr. Football. Wait a second. You delusional? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I don't <laughs> was. And then, I, and then the first couple games, he's ripping off 300-yard games, and I'm like, well, there goes that. Yeah. So, but uh, no, that, uh, obviously a great accomplishment. Uh, I just wanted to touch on a couple little highlights. Um so how do we, how are you notified of the Indiana Mr. Football yeah, go ahead. Award? Well, they just um, they notified the school, and then mm -hmm. the AD told me that you know I would be a part of the banquet, you okay. know, to come down there, and then they would announce it there. So uh, Coach Grider, uh, at that time Chuck Grimes, the AD, and myself, you know. Oh, did you think it was a foregone conclusion that you're? I thought I had no chance to win it. Oh, you did really? zero chance. Well, uh, the I told everybody I said there's no way they're gonna give it to. Uh, uh, a smaller school. Yeah. I thought one of the big 5A states. Do you remember who was in competition winning. with you? Uh, there was a kid from Ben Davis. I thought he would win it. Yeah, they I had mean, a phenomenal game in, in that the, year. Indianapolis yeah. Star names it, right? So right. In, Indianapolis yeah. newspaper, Ben Davis. I well, think, and yeah. I think there was the interesting thing is, is uh, I saw some kind of little, you know, they have a Gatorade uh, Player of the Year for uh, the state each year, and you weren't it. I was like, How's that even possible? I never even knew about it. Yeah, I, I, I was surprised I didn't see Oh, they do that individual statewide? Yeah. I knew they do it nationally. Yeah, that Gatorade Player of the Year. I didn't find out that that was even a thing Yeah. until like five years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah no. No well, I was shocked that I didn't see it because I was like, doing it. Let me the... see what this was. Like, hey, this is my player. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even get a call to, uh, as a right. possibility. But right. uh, Now, do they like, you know, a la the Heisman, do they bring you guys back? former award winners when they hand out the award every year? Do they do mm. anything like that? No, no. no. It's um, just the players. Um, they don't do anything for the former uh, Mr. Footballs. They should. Uh, yeah. Um, but uh, now, they, they, they don't have a banquet or anything? Guys. They don't They don't invite you back yearly for the, the presentation or anything like that? No. I feel like we're going to start a, a we, mo movement. We're going to start that. Yeah. Uh, well, let's talk a little bit about your senior year. Uh, as you said, you didn't know what the uh, the record was going into it. Uh, one Brett Law, which you actually played at IU with, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 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 So uh, he had 6,864 at the time. You ended up with 6,895. Now, he happened to break that record against our my beloved Trojans. 
Uh, and, and just a, uh, a quick little story here, and this is, this is uh, a pretty funny one. Uh, so we're, we're up on you guys. At that point, I, I just, uh, I think it was like a, I broke a 33-yard touchdown towards the uh, end there <laughs> to go up 35-6. Well, there's about three minutes it. left in the game. All right. So as the story goes, uh, Alex goes up to their statistician, Dave Cook. Do you know that, Dave? That's absolutely. Uh, nice. yeah. yeah. And, and he asked him, how many yards does he need to get this record? Uh, so uh, Dave tells him, slaps him on the ass, and he says, go get it. Well, Alex, the smart guy he is, he, he gets, the, he, we we're kicking off. He knew how many yards he needed. <laughs> so we kick off, and, and as legend is, Alex might have took a few yards back. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if I took any back. I certainly didn't <laughs> yeah. the game. No, but then he, instead of taking a knee, he just lets the everybody tackle him. Mm-hmm. And then, like, maybe two or three plays later, you break that 70-yarder uh, and get that touchdown. I think it was 69 yards. Or was it 69? 69. 218-yard game. That's, yes. That's pretty. Well, unbelievable. Uh, he deserves all the credit in the world. And, the, and if I remember correctly, fireworks were going off. We yeah, they had the, a pretty big. We had to stop game. the game yeah, to, to yeah. celebrate you and my time of victory. <laughs> 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 uh, but no, unbelievable. You ended up with 6,895, which is, is, is unbelievable. Uh, you know, uh, Great, unbelievable career. So now the guy that holds the rec- record, his name's Charlie Spiegel. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's actually, yeah, have you, have you watched him play? Was it the guy from last Yeah, New last Palestine. Year? Yeah, yeah. I, I saw him play. He's, he's going to IU. I, really? Yeah. Yeah, I knew there was IU. I, I, At least that's what I, I saw yeah, on the internet. I, I read something, yeah, he's a... I think that they said he was going to be a preferred walk-on. I yeah. There was a little bit of, well, there was a little bit of that. controversy yeah. because he was such a highly touted player. He ended yeah. up with like 10,867. Yeah. Very strong it, runner. Yeah. I watch him run. He's yep. Like, yeah. Yep, so that's a uh, – obviously, you, you've never spoken with that guy. No, yeah. yeah. So, But, again, as, as they declared you the uh, – you know, for Indiana's first Mr. Football um, – you know, it, it was kind of uh, crazy to see that season now ranks. It's a little further down, uh, but records were made to be broke. 11th all time now, that single season. Uh, your 11th, uh, ironically, an all time career scoring, uh, and then 11th all time in the, uh, the career yards. So your 11th, did you even know that going in? Yeah, I was going to say he's that's probably, cool. but that's an unbelievable career. Uh, and just a couple tidbits, you probably don't know this. Um, and one other quick game, getting that, that uh, legendary. It probably wouldn't have got to the Trojan game for the uh, the sectional uh, because they had played Jennings County. Now, we all needed some Jennings yeah. County on our schedule. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell, I, I tell you what. So, uh, a funny little tidbit that you'll like, Billy, in this uh, that you enjoy that I know. Uh, Alex is ripping it up. He has a, he has a 400-yard game. Uh, he has 400 and, uh, what was that, uh, I think it was like 417 or something on like 21 carries. He only played one series in the third quarter uh, before they took him out. Now, why did wow. they take, do you remember why they took you out? Well, Coach Grider always wanted to be a class act. Yeah. He didn't want to run up the score. I, uh, I don't bad. think. I mean, if, if it was done in the midst of a game, fine. But after, you know, we had really soundly put it on them, they always would take me out. I, I they didn't want me running up a bunch of yards at the end well, of the game. Well, I got to think they took you out. And by the way, it was 417 on uh, 21 carries. But I got to think they took you out. So Do I you, could break it against you guys? Well, <laughs> 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 well I don't know what they've done to fruition, but no, no, I, I think they took you out because during one of your touchdown runs that never became a touchdown run, did a Jennings County player come on the sideline and tackle you when you were uh, in the field? Came off the sideline. Okay, we came off the sideline yeah. and tackled yeah. you. Yeah, they did. Yeah, really? they didn't get called yeah. for touchdown. Right, right. Because they, they pulled a Woody right. Hayes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I found that wow. information from uh, the, depleted me. Yeah, from the uh, really? the yeah. Franklin County Athletic Director Denny. Uh, from Frank County there, he had shared that story. He said it was the craziest thing. And they didn't even award you the touchdown no. because they said they didn't no. know if you were going to be caught. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we both yeah. know you wouldn't have been caught. Did you, did you know he came off the sideline as soon as you got hit? Or is it just 
somebody I, told you after. I had kind of figured it because I had already broken out. Be that yeah, way. nobody's going to well, catch you well, at that point. Uh, in front of everybody, all by myself. That's pretty right cool. Down the sideline. And just, yeah, that's pretty cool. Next thing cheat you like know, that. I'm on my back. Yeah. Like, what <laughs> what, what, what the hell happened? You probably didn't know I would know that. Yeah, one, that so. was a good one. You yeah. did your homework. On yeah, that. absolutely. Well, and in your career, just to, just to touch base one more time on that overall uh, great career. You had a 400-yard game that we just talked about, two 300s, 13 200-yard games, 13 100-yard games. Your senior year, you averaged 275 yards a game. I don't know if you knew that. Um, and then for your career. That was the one I was most proud of. Yeah. The average two seven, 270. That's 270, 275. I don't even know if that's been beaten today. I would like that to. That I would like to know. I would know. I, well, because, because that's how they do it in college football. Yeah. The, well, three, the 3,024, great number, but you did that all not coming out of the sectional. So, you had, if you could add your typical couple other games in there, 275 would be hard to beat as a per game average. What was think. his average against the Trojans? Do we know that? Uh, we'd have to no, go, we're near that. Uh, we'd, have to, we'd have to go to the statistician okay. for that. But, uh, some, some bad things. <laughs> But he had, uh, it, but your for your career. I don't know if you knew this. You you averaged 168 yards for your whole career, which is great. Uh, but that senior year, unbelievable. And for your career, your uh, yards per carry was 8.43. I didn't know if you realized that. So Man, almost a first down. Uh, yeah. You know, obviously per carry. So good good stuff there. Uh, anything on that? No. no. All right. Well, let's jump uh, to the IU career. Uh, Bill, why don't you uh, jump in here with the IU career? Okay. So uh, you had two 1,000-yard rushing seasons at Indiana. Um, now, I read, again, going back to that story about uh, that Lauren Kelly wrote, I believe uh-huh. is her name. Yeah. Uh, she told a story about Coach Mallory pulled you out of a game and then after, after the game apologized to the team. And that said was that my he running would, back coach, Coach okay. Buck. Okay, so he said that. Okay, I think the article said Mallory. She's probably misquoted. Okay, yeah. Yeah. but said that they would yeah. never start you again. Now, yeah. was that your actual fresh, or was that your? your that was my. Well, that was my. Because I couldn't redshirt freshman year. Yeah, okay. I got redshirted. Yeah. So right. Then it was my redshirt freshman year. And can't say enough great about Coach Buck. Yeah. Wonderful man, and he learned. He learned right away how to motivate me mm-hmm. and I was young and didn't realize really what was going on okay and so he he was a button pusher for sure yeah and uh, he got the most out of me and he made me a much better player than I think I could have ever been um, playing under anybody else so you but were sitting there while he said that fuming. to the whole team. <laughs> I bet that ain't I bet that ain't a cute big time so we we've done a lot of um, Shows on the Michael Jordan documentary, so mm-hmm. we, we're you know basically the the theme of that whole his the, how he got slighted in life and mm-hmm. used that right. as motivation. Right. So did you have the same kind of approach basically from when you started, or how how did you motivate yourself? I think all athletes do. I, yeah. I think all athletes you know want to be the best, think they can be the best, and and if they don't, then they wouldn't be where they are. I mean, yeah. we, we all go for the top spot Mm -hmm. to be the best and and when we get it it takes a long time to learn how to to be a gracious loser to to not win and and so when something like that happens you know it's it's an ego buster it's hard on you and uh so i've had quite a few situations like that actually um, through the years, and they all motivated me to be a better player. Yeah, because yeah, that could have probably went either way. When he, he undresses you in front of the team, mm-hmm. you could have probably – you could either fold it up shop right there right. or, you know, it, it dri- just drived you, and, and it looks like obviously uh, that drove you. Uh, speaking of that yet redshirt freshman uh, year, what an unbelievable year that was. Uh, you, you must have thought uh, – on cloud nine, all the, uh, you know, everything you did was working. Um, you know, you had uh, got, what'd you get, 14, seven, uh, four, 1,475 for the year. Almost got to Herschel Walker's record. Now, did you know about that record as you got a little later? 
through the year they started telling me. So yeah, okay. <laughs> Which was you pushing know, buttons. It was but, ironic. Yeah, yeah. would you would well, you surprised actually, that it, you it were was the media that would tell you more about what you were doing? Okay. And, and around it's strictly business at, at, on the team yeah. and the coaches. They didn't talk about no, 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 personal right. nothing. Yeah. It was all business and what you yeah. did wrong. What was Brett Law elbowing you saying? Hey, you get another record. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody loved each other. Yeah. But, you know, I, well, listen, that that's unbelievable. When you when all the dust was settled that year, uh, the only people that you hadn't beaten for the freshman, uh, you know, all time was Tony Dorsett and Herschel Walker, which is unbelievable company to be mentioned in. And that year, you ended up uh, finishing seventh in the nation, uh, and you had that Big Ten freshman ru- running record. Uh, I, I think it's been broke since then. Uh, yeah. I, okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah my heart. Mike Hart had uh, yeah. yeah, Jonathan Taylor. Uh, maybe, I don't the, know. The uh, big guy from Wisconsin, I think. Jonathan oh, Taylor. Dane. Or Ron, uh, Ron Dane. Ron Dane. Okay. He's the first guy to get it. I think he maybe got it a couple times. Yeah. Other Wisconsin guys. Yeah, Jonathan Taylor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's. From, I mean, there's such great. I mean, all the records, like all you said, are made, made to, be to be broken. Now, talking about that freshman year, you got your first game ever against UC, no less. Right. Yeah, and uh, you know, you came away with 152 yards. How'd that feel as your first college game action? It was exciting. Um, there was a little uh, back and forth in that, too, because uh, we, the year prior, uh, UC felt like they had got slided because they didn't go to a bowl. I think they were 8-3 and three the year before. We were 8-3. and three. Okay. We ended up going to the Independence Bowl. And so there was a lot of back and forth talk about, you know, who was better, who should have went. Because we went and we got busted up pretty good by Virginia Tech. And mm-hmm. so then they – Felt like they should have went. So it was a lot of talk coming into the game, and uh, I was, you know, being from this area, yep. it was exciting. I knew, you know, you know, the team and knew about them a little bit. So I was excited to play in it. Plus, it was, you know, my coming out party. Yep. And yeah, I mean, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I, absolutely. What do you got there, buddy? Oh, I saw um, that you played. I think it was just one season with. Try to pronounce out of Wally, yeah, Wally. Yeah, so he was an NFL Pro Bowler, played in the Super Bowl. Was he a, was he the best defender you practiced against, or is there any other guy that sticks out? He was certainly you? a phenomenal player, yeah. and he was younger than me, so you know, I I knew when he got there he was going to be great, yeah. and uh, I've, of course everybody did. You know, he had phenomenal talent. Yeah, mm-hmm. he got much better and much bigger after I left, mm-hmm. um, but phenomenal talent and a phenomenal guy. Yeah. Super nice, always smiling, laughing, just a really good That's guy. Cool. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, at IU, I, I played with a lot of great guys. Nathan Davis from Richmond, Indiana, he was a okay. great defender, big okay. guy. He ended up getting drafted, like, first pick in the second round. Okay. okay. And then my true freshman year, that defense was, like, second in the nation to Florida State. Oh, uh, that lights out. The year they went to the uh, the Independence Bowl, those guys were phenomenal. They were some of the best players I ever played against. Herb McCormick. And you were on the um, scout team. Scout team. Yeah, so, so you were, you were beating me. Yeah. <laughs> and if I did do something right, they made me run it again. Yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> next time. So now, now did Chris you? Dyer was yeah. on that yeah. team okay. from Lawrenceburg. Yeah, okay. He was a great player, and and he was a lot of fun to be around. Yep. Now, did you know you were going to be red-shirted? Was that the plan going in? Or no, I was not. Okay. Well, that, 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 that's, that's, that's one thing I wanted to ask. Right. Well, you know, everybody, when they're getting recruited, they're telling you whatever you want to hear. You're yeah. going to play. Right. We need running backs. Sales one on one. Right. When yeah. I got there, was, we were six deep at ten. What's going on? It's just a one by So, you know, it was fine. But, again, I, I wanted to be the guy from the time. Yeah. Yeah. I got there till, and I felt like I could, but I just I had to earn my shot, which well, I understand at that level everybody's great. Gotcha. Well, I'm gonna you know talking a little bit more about that mm-hmm. freshman year. Uh, you know, obviously, you know when or the, your redshirt that freshman year when you got into game action, uh, you know you had that UC game, but then I, I watched uh, rewatched that Kentucky game. Boy, I, I have a feeling you could have probably broke 400 against Kentucky if they wouldn't have shared all those right. carries with Brett and uh, right. Jermaine. I mean, you, you probably had to be a little ticked. You probably didn't get your typical 30 to 40 carries there. So right. yeah. you you would have probably had that freshman run, running record if, if they would have kept you in that game. I'd have liked to play more, obviously. Yeah. But, uh, you know, that's part of it. And 
and and at that time still I, I was still earning my position yeah. I felt like and yeah, but 19 carries for 221, uh, that, was a, that was a great game, but I, I have a suspicion you'd have had 400. And fast forward to your first game action uh, of against your bitter rival, Purdue. I was actually, and I don't think I've ever shared this with you, I went up to watch you uh, play at that game. Obviously, you had a great year to that point. I wanted to watch you, and boy, you exploded that game, and uh, you ended up with 245. Uh, against that Mike Allstott led team and I remember being up at Purdue and sitting in the stands and I was it the second quarter you were dehydrated well I, that's a funny story you ask about that okay um I, I always um you know I, I would never want to admit to this but when I scored that long touchdown run yep I just got overly excited okay and I got sick okay and it, it's just something that can happen to me, I guess. Yeah. And after that long run, I don't know if it's a massive adrenaline rush. Yeah. yeah. But I just got deathly sick. Of okay. And well, because I well the reason I bring that uh, up is because uh, you know you you busted out in that was that that was the second quarter that happened right? Yeah. Okay. Second so uh, you know you had a great first quarter, great into the second, and I remember when they started stuffing uh, the IU running backs, some older old uh, timer was sitting in the vicinity is just like, oh, we're stuffing Alex now. And I'm like, he's not, he's on the sideline yeah. over there. <laughs> I'm like, he isn't, uh, you know, but that was an unbelievable, the, the, the back and forth you guys ended up, uh, did you guys, did you end up being 3-0 in those games against Purdue? Uh, no, they, uh, they got us uh, my junior, well, be my red shirt. Okay, red shirt. Sophomore year. Okay, okay, gotcha. Um, All right. So yeah, so but great, uh, great. Two out of three, we got. Two, uh, well, that's hey, that's go. such a uh, a good game. What you got there? No. All right. So I just want to talk a little bit more uh, just about the IU season. Um, I don't know. Uh, obviously, a sophomore campaign coming off of that freshman, it had to be hard for you battling those injuries. You know, the expectations had to be fairly high. And uh, who's your laying in for yourself? Uh, you know, talk a little bit about the injuries that you'd. Uh, well, you got uh, you know the sophomore slump they call it, or yep. the you know the SI curse. Yeah. Uh, you had all that working. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure on you to come out and do the exact same thing or better. Yep. And then I had got hurt. Yeah. And so that was I'd never been hurt before. Well, right. that I missed games. Yeah. I, I never missed a game in high school. And no. Until I got well, how I, well, I got I... hurt in a that ended my season. In my junior year in Seymour against my I remember you had a couple uh, dislocated uh, shoulders. Yeah, or my shoulder. I ended up having surgery. Yeah, but that was the last game of my 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 season. So really, I hadn't missed games mid season. Yeah. So that was tough, and uh, so it kind of threw a wrench in the whole thing from the beginning. Uh, ended up then pulling a ham a quad muscle in my Boy. leg. So I missed two games. And it, it was tough. Yeah, I mean, for any competitor to you know be held out of action, it it eats away at you. Uh, but you know, even after that uh, sophomore uh, campaign, which was a hard one, uh, you you bounced back junior year. Uh, I don't know if you realize this. Do you do you know you have a, a college football record right now? I didn't. Know. Yeah, I still hold one. It, I yeah, that. well, you have twenty two carries in one quarter. Michigan yeah, State. Michigan State. Yeah. That will never be broken. If if you at home think about twenty two carries in one quarter, uh, that's just that's hard to fathom. You know, it's not maybe not at a high school level, but at the college level, you're just never going to see that. If, yeah. That that I'll tell you a funny story about that and how the games changed. I got knocked out of that game. Oh, really? And, yeah, I, I got hit real hard and. You know, and I was out, and you know they were on the sideline giving me all the tests yeah. and whatnot. And so then I end up coming back in. I was fine, you yeah, know, no problem, right back in. And uh, so they were interviewing Coach Mal after the game. And they said, you know, don't you think 22 carries in a quarter is kind of excessive? He says, well, if you wouldn't have got knocked out of the game, he said, I'd give it to him 22 more. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good. Hey, yeah. Coach Mallory was, uh, you He's know, a he hard nosed guy. He loved to run that. Uh, you know, you come from a lineage, uh, you know, with the A Train and Von Dunbar. So that was a, uh, you know, setting up. You knew 
Uh, smart call on your part, knowing how he loved to run the ball out of the eye back formation. Right. That set up well for what you do well, and uh, you know that was kind of a uh, you know a good uh, marriage right there. It was there. a good fit. For yeah, sure. ab absolutely. Um, what do you got, buddy? I just have one more IU question. Okay. Did, okay. did you ever meet Bob Knight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, actually, I met him before I went to IU, and then I talked to him just one time at IU. I got a funny story. Uh, I worked at the golf course, and uh, so Bob would always start on the back nine, mm -hmm. and. Uh, he would uh, get out there real early, and I always worked the golf course in the summertime. Uh -huh. And so, first time they ever let me drive the real mower, uh -huh. and they're expensive mowers, yeah. and for the fairway. Yeah. And so I'm out there on the real mower, and they're like, "Start on the back nine, you know, so you don't you know, get in the way." And the yeah. player starting in the front. Well, he started on the back nine, <laughs> so I'm coming down the, to the fairway, and he's getting ready to putt. Uh, his first hole, him and all of his buddies. Yeah. And so I'm like, man, I don't want to run this real mower right down by him while they're getting ready to yeah. cut. So I just cut the engine. Yeah. Well, it backfired. Backfired. <laughs> <laughs> boom like you've never heard. He threw his club up there about 30 feet. Yeah, really? I went uh, straight back to the club. Uh, I like, man, I can't go out there. Uh, they're not sensitive. Yeah. Uh, Does anybody have a picture of that? Like, get a picture uh, of this back there. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's a great story. Uh, a great Bob Knight story. Well, listen, um, you know, so finishing up the IU career, Mallory was retiring. So did that play a huge uh, decision in you uh, declaring? Big time. Okay. Yeah, I came to play for Coach Mal, and that was important to me. I, I just felt like it was a family thing. Yep. Um, they were just good to me, and, yep. and I liked playing for them. And I felt like I had done everything in my college career that I set out to do, and I was I was really ready to move on, whether yep. it be at the next level or not. I was going to give it a try. Yep. Obviously, I wanted to play at the next level, but so yeah, when he um, when they said that uh, he was done coaching, and that I, that was it for me. I asked my running back coach. And I said, uh, I know Coach Mallory had a press con press conference, mm -hmm. and I asked my running back coach. I said, Well, would you mind if I you know went in afterwards and declared? Yeah. And he said, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And that was how it went cool. down. So that's how it went down. Now, well, was that yeah. the guy who called you out? The running uh, back coach? coach? Buck, yeah. <laughs> Same guy. Yeah. So, he yeah. recovered. <laughs> well, and, and to be honest with you, I think that Cam Cameron was more of a passing coach anyway. Right. So that, right. I don't think I really Wouldn't fit. have been a great fit yeah. uh, for me. Now, now, going out after you declare, um, did you have some tryouts? What? How, how did that all yeah, play out? Yeah. Um, I just, you know, I went to the combine, and then the combine didn't go as well as I would like for it to have went. I didn't okay. have a great forty time. And I knew that was huge. Yeah. What 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 um, did you have at the combine? Uh, four five nine. Oh, what's your best forty time ever? Well, those are electronic. Yeah. So when you run electronic, it, it it's much slower than like handheld time. Yeah. Now I ran uh, four three one at, at uh, my pro day at pro day at IU. Man, and, that's, um, that's getting it. That, yeah. Well, now the story on that—that that was my red shirt freshman year. I did that. Yeah. And that was before all the hamstring injuries. Injuries. So. And after all the hamstring injuries, I never ran under four four. Yeah, okay. Handheld. So this would be four six. Yeah. Electronic. So gotcha. I definitely. Four three so one. I try to keep a secret. Yeah. Wow. Ah. Through those hamstring right. injuries, I've yeah. never had. I, I was gonna say maybe we'll cut that out of the video. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's all downhill now, but you yeah. Know, back then, you don't want anybody to know you. Yeah. Not be just as fast as you were. But I mean, obviously, you you've always been a blazer. You even were a, a, a track guy in high school, right? Uh, with the hundred and two hundred, um, and also a wrestler, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, did you wrestle your senior year or no? I did. Well. I started out wrestling and then I tweaked my knee. Okay. And then um, you know, talking to the guys uh, at IU, they they just said that I finish that up. You know, yeah. endanger the knee and, and get healthy to come to IU. Yep. So um, you know, just getting into the IU record books, you're still the third all-time leading rusher. I'm I'm sure you probably knew that. You had the uh, the fifth and ninth uh, best single season rushing records still. In IU history, which is pretty impressive, uh, and then your seventh all time on the uh, rushing TD list. So that's, I mean, those were unbelievable. Uh, and I, I really think you'd you know, obviously you'd have picked off Randall well. Uh, he's number two if you'd have played that uh, that fourth year. So, so unbelievable. Now, do you have any uh, relation with uh, Tom Allen, the current coach? 
at all? Does do they do they have do they they don't ask? I didn't know how that worked. Uh, a lot of these big time colleges like to have. Some oh, of they that. always are sending emails. They want you to come up all the time. And, yep. and, I, and I'm always like Mark Deals, our uh, I'm in guy. He's the guy that he was the line coach when I was in school. Okay. And now he works for the Island Association. Okay. The alumni, yep. and so it, they're always in contact, sending emails, inviting us up doing special things. Yep. I just find myself really busy with family and yep. work and I yep. work weekends. I'm in yeah. retail. So yeah. I, it just it's hard for me it's to It's hard away. to pull away. Yeah. Hunting and fishing. Yeah, I understand. Right. Yeah. It takes so, precedence. Yeah, I put the hunting and yeah. fishing in there to get a chance. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's a little further down on your depth chart. But I definitely watch the games and uh I'm an IU basketball fan. I'm yep. an IU fan. Yeah. I just you know haven't had a lot of chance to get back up there. Gotcha, gotcha. Now uh, just a couple other little fun things I, I wanted to ask you. Do you got anything here? I'm, I'm tapped out. Who, who uh, you switched from number 22 to 23. Right. Yeah. So I want to know who who had your number 20. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. I, I didn't know that. I saw that. I was like, wait a second. He switched. Yeah, 22. Yeah, he wasn't it, giving that up. Now, <laughs> you should have worked that in a deal with you coming in there saying, right. listen, I'll come, but I'm going to need that. I would have loved it because I loved my number. It was hard on me to get yeah. that up. You know, for sports guys, numbers are sacred. Yeah. And then I got there. Another funny story. When I got there, the respect that you get. As a newcomer, not yeah. very much. No. They gave me number 12 when I got there. <laughs> Actually, my bowl ring, uh, I should have worn my bowl ring for my red true freshman year. It has number 12 on it. Oh, man. Yeah. That's oh. a funny little story. So then my when I, Maybe. I was starting to play, I said, I can't wear number 12. I said, I, I, the, the equipment coach was uh, Marty. And I said, I can't wear 12, Marty. What do you got in there? He goes, well, I got 23. I said, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe maybe they were trying to uh, convert you uh, like uh, Miami was. Uh, maybe they're trying to make you a yeah, quarterback. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> extra. I can't throw that thirty yards. <laughs> well, that, that's pretty good. So I, I never realized that. It just it caught my attention when uh, you know. Obviously, I was looking through some of the stuff. Uh, quick other thing: um, Did you let uh, when you were recruiting? Did you let? Uh, the people recruiting you know that you and your wife, Chris, was a package deal. That uh, if you go, she goes. Well, like I said, they, I committed to Indiana my junior year, so Kristen had already. I told her, I said, you know, you need to apply to IU. That's where I want to go. Yeah. But I didn't know I was going to go there. You know, I was hoping they'd offer me, but yeah. you never know. Yeah. And so she um, had already uh, got accepted there, and she's a year older than me, so yeah. she was going there. And so then um, when they, they offered me, it was, uh, you know, just made it perfect. You know? Yeah. So she already had uh, her bearing set up there. Yeah, she uh, went as a freshman. Yeah. Without me, you know, I was still here. She was missing all that uh, senior season here, which yep. is, you know, she was getting back as much as she could. But yep. And was she there for the record? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say She was there for everything. She suffered. Our grades did her. Yeah. <laughs> She bounced back. Good, good. Well, listen, that uh, obviously a, a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, career. Just one other, uh, one last thing I wanted to ask. What's the hardest you've ever been hit uh, up in college? Do you remember? Anything that jumped out at I've you? I've taken a couple of waylay hits. Now, have you um, ever had concussions? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> big boy. Yeah. They just called it getting dinged. Yeah, getting dinged, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, well, I mean, shook it off, went back out. It's carrying, just a different era of yeah, us now. Yeah, carrying 40 times in high school compared to in the Big Ten Conference, big difference. You're getting crushed. Uh, you know, it's, it's just like a Mack truck every uh, – anybody that jumps out at you that uh, – uh, I got my things group? pretty good. Uh, <laughs> uh, trust me, my <laughs> blew me up a lot of times. We, we had a couple uh, of uh, head-to-heads. But uh, usually when you get, uh, like, concussion type, they – they're from the side. You don't yep. see them. Uh, I took a big one against Franklin Central Yep. Um, in that game. When I was a freshman, uh, maybe I was a sophomore, I got hit in the stomach once, and I had just started, you know, to get a little playing time. And that was actually it was my sophomore season against Lawrenceburg. Guy hit me and shoved his whole helmet up in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Knocked the wind out of me. I'm, on the, I'm right in front of the fans down on the goal line at the five-yard line. I pull my helmet off. 
coach comes running out. I can't breathe. I can't talk. He says, take a breath. I took a breath and just started throwing up all over. Oh, man. The crowd's going, oh. <laughs> and, uh, oh, that, that well, hurt. Well, yeah, as a sophomore, you're like, that I need hurt. to get back in there, obviously. Right. But you're, you're not you know, and I fumbled the ball four times that game. Uh -oh. And that was a great thing about Coach Grider. He kept giving it to me. He, he said, did. you know, well, Keep giving it to him. He'll be all right. Yeah. So, uh, did you have any fumbling problems? I, I was kind of. <laughs> I was. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when I was younger. Yeah. Now, as an older, like my junior, senior year, not so much. But my freshman year at yeah. Indiana, yeah. you're not used to the, the power of those yeah. guys. Some yeah. of those guys, the strength that they're, they can rip at the ball, you're yeah. not paying attention. Yeah. You used to run in traffic with one arm, yeah. and they, they have incredible strength. They can just rip it right out. Uh, so absolutely. that's just something you yeah. have to learn. You have to learn, yeah. you know, high and tight. You know, uh, right. was that Coach Buck? Probably yeah, always, always on me. <laughs> <laughs> always on me. Well, hey, great, great stuff. Uh, just one last note. I did see it, the Indy uh, Indy Star uh, in 2017 had you ranked as one of the uh, the best uh, IU players to come out in the last 25 years. Uh, you and Tevin Coleman was uh, you were on the running back list. Obviously, a, a great great honor. Uh, great career. Uh, appreciate you coming in today, buddy. Thanks for having hey, me. I really hey, good, appreciate it. Hey, good Thank seeing you. you. Appreciate it. Yep. Guys at home, if you like what we do, keep watching, keep oh. sharing. Uh, we'll get more guys like Alex on our set and, uh, you know, keep on doing what we do. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks.